guys welcome back to the channel um, as you can see I've been very very lucky on being able to uh, find a PlayStation 5 um, I've been looking for the last year year or so off and on for this thing never in stock these things are so hard to get your hands on to on but um, I seen Walmart was doing a restock on Cyber Monday yeah Cyber Monday Walmart is doing a big restock and I hear tons of people got theirs from Walmart. I was going to do it, but they wanted like 12 or 13 dollars a month just to be able to have a chance to buy it. Something to do with Walmart Plus or something. Maybe it's good. I don't know. I'm paying for Amazon Prime, so I don't know if it's Walmart or anything like that. But I know a Prime, I'm getting the video and the shipping. Well, shipping's been a little off but anyways um I've been so lucky I'm able to get this um I pretty much gave up on it I'm pretty much given up I seen when Walmart wanted the twelve dollars I didn't want to pay that just for a chance because my luck I'd have just been up twelve dollars so I pretty much given up um then like when I gave up like five ten minutes later I get an email from Sony saying that I've been selected to be able to buy a PlayStation 5. So they sent the email. You click on a link they send you in the email and it takes you to their site. I did that on Monday and it took me to a queue. I waited like 20 minutes and the next thing you know is in the checkout with a PlayStation 5. So I ordered this on Monday and here it is Wednesday. So two day shipping and I didn't even pay for the good shipping. I just paid for the regular flat rate shipping. And it still got to me within two days. Um, so it's pretty good. Oh, and you may want to read these instructions. Don't be a, um, a dummy like me then just, you know, throw them back in the box. I didn't really look at them yet, over yet. I should have, I should have, but I figure I build computers. How hard could a system, uh, video game system be, you know? Um, also, I didn't realize how big this system was. I mean, I'm used to like full tower computers, but I'm not used to a video game system being this big. Here we have the HDMI, I think it's a 2.1 or 2.0. I don't think my TV takes advantage of the 4K, 120 hertz is it? I think mine's only like 4K, 60. I have the Sony X900E, I do believe. Great TV, but I don't think it has the 120. I may be mistaken. But here we have the controller. I'm hearing really good things about this. Other than the battery life. I hear the battery life isn't the best. Maybe someone in the comments could leave a comment saying how good it is for them. But I'm hearing like three, four hours tops. I have to test it out. Um, I'm a fan of the... I was never a fan of the rechargeable controllers. I always liked the Xbox approach where you can just slap in two new AA batteries and you're good for another week, week and a half. My PlayStation 4 controllers is... Yeah, you might get a day out of them. You gotta charge them. My Xbox controller just seems to keep going and going. So, I know a lot of people love the rechargeable controllers, but myself, I'd rather have two AA batteries. Uh, buy the rechargeable of them and you're good to go. But here we have the system, and it is, it's a, it's a big boy. Um, I think it's the biggest system I've ever had. I thought it may be the biggest system that's ever came out. I've had pretty much every system at some point or another. I do believe this is the biggest one though. Maybe the original Xbox maybe is almost as big or as heavy. But it's a really nice system. I really the only thing I don't like about it is this piano black. I don't like that scratch is so easy. I mean you can look at it the wrong way and I think you scratch it. I remember the PlayStation 3 would um the first PlayStation 3 it had this piano black which scratched so easy. 
Oh, and like I was saying about the instructions, you may want to read them. And don't be dumb like me. I had to look all over to find this screw. If you're dumb like me, the screw is hidden right there in the stand. I looked all over for that thing. I thought maybe Sony forgot to put it in there, but yeah, it's there. It's just hidden in the stand. But, but yeah, um, anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up. And I'm hoping everyone out there who wants this system has some luck on getting it. I know it's hard to get your hands on it. But good luck to everybody. Happy holidays and have a great day.